it's another getting real with Ashley Dawn and I just want to encourage you you are the blessing and you say Ashley Dawn what are you talking about you are the blessing that somebody is praying for my friend Judy and I were just talking and I was praying over her and she said something that just hit my spirit and I was praying that God would just bless her and that God would just bring people that would just share his love with them and she said well you are the blessing and it hit my spirit and I'm like, I'm gonna do a video about this. You are the blessing. That person that is praying, you are that answer to their prayer. Like so often we're like, God, can you just do this for this person? Can you do, just do this? If God has put it on your heart, maybe he wants you to do it. Have you ever thought of that? Maybe he's put that on your heart because he's equipped you to carry out that blessing. So often in my life, and I was walking out of the church and I was talking to a, a lady and I was just telling her like, I used to come to vacation Bible school here. I would not have been able to go to vacation Bible school, school there had people not volunteered to be the blessing in my life. You are the blessing. You carry a blessing with you in what you do with your time and what you do with your energy and what you do with your resources. You are the blessing. You are the blessing that somebody is praying for. You are that prayer that somebody is praying. You are the blessing. So, today, let me back up a little bit so nobody hits me. Today, think about how you can be a blessing in the lives around you. What can you do to show somebody God's love? What can you do to show somebody that they are seen, that they are celebrated, and that they are loved? I don't have to be the only one doing these videos telling people that they're seen, celebrated, and loved. You can tell them that too. I don't have to be the only one volunteering at different events. You can be a volunteer too. I don't have to be the only one giving my time, talents, and resources away. You can do that too. Now, have some boundaries. Don't let people take advantage of you, but be a blessing. It's fun to be a blessing. It's fun to go out of your way to do something nice for somebody else. You feel good about it. You got an extra pair of shoes, give them to somebody that don't have shoes. You got an extra outfit, you got some extra clothes, give them to somebody that don't have any. Is there a little old lady down the street from you and her house has fallen apart? Go offer to help. Go offer to fix it. Go offer to paint it. Go offer to cut her grass. You got a lawnmower? Cut her grass for it. Do you have any idea what a blessing it would be for an, an older person to have their grass cut? That's hard. And it's expensive, you know, if they got a lawn care company, it would come, it would be expensive. Maybe you don't want to cut it yourself. Maybe you want to pay for a lawn care company kind of to come out and cut that person's grass. You can be a blessing. Today's be a blessing day. Are you ready? Be a blessing. Do something nice for somebody. Make some extra cookies. Give them to your neighbor. Do something nice for somebody. Maybe you have an extra umbrella. Put it in your car so that the next time it rains, you could just give it to somebody that doesn't have one. Have you ever seen people walking down the street and it's like down or raining and you're like, oh, I feel so bad for them. I would offer them a ride, but they're a stranger and I don't want a stranger to be in my car. Well, put an extra umbrella in your car or, you know, a poncho or something. I mean, I'd do an umbrella. You can get umbrellas at Dollar Tree too. Put some extra umbrellas in your car and then when you see somebody walking without one, you can give them one. Do you know what a blessing that would be? I've walked in the rain. It's not fun. When I was a little girl, me and my mom walked everywhere. She didn't drive. And so we got stuck in the rain quite a few times. And it would have been a real blessing if somebody said, hey, here's an umbrella. Be a blessing. Start getting creative. Think about how you can be a blessing in somebody's life today. Maybe somebody needs some money. Maybe one of your friends got their electricity turned off. Also, appreciation post right here. Look behind me right there. My daddy painted that in the 1990s pretty cool. I love driving by it because it reminds me of my daddy. So on this street, every single building at one time was painted by my daddy. That's a little fun fact. Anyway, my point is you can be a blessing. You can be a blessing to somebody. You can do nice things for somebody. You're praying and saying, oh, I hope they would do this for this person. I hope they would do that for this person. Guess what? You can do it. You can do it. You can be the blessing. You can help somebody. You can literally be the sunshine in somebody's rain cloud. And then what comes from it? A beautiful rainbow. 
So be a blessing. This is like a five minute one. It's short. I just want to encourage you. You are the blessing somebody's praying for. You are the blessing somebody is waiting for. You are the blessing that will change somebody's life. Get creative. Think about how you can help the people around you. I love you. I'll catch you in the next one.